Uh, yes, hi. I'm right here on 4th Street by the Anthony Elementary in Anthony, New Mexico. Okay. And there's a gentleman that is walking and talking by himself, and it looks like he's carrying a rifle or a pallet gun. I mean, he's talking by himself, so I, I didn't want to get close. I just drove away, but he's, he's walking towards the apartment on 4th Street. I'm sorry? Do you know what intersection he's at? Um, he's probably already by Madero and Fort. Right in front of the school, the elementary school, I think elementary. And what was he wearing? He was wearing a white shirt, a baseball hat, and some and jeans. He's heavy set. White. Was he aiming at anybody or is it just over no, his shoulder? No, he was just there on his nose, just on his shoulder. Like carrying it like a kind of like a purse, but it's a rifle. You can see it's a rifle. And which way was he walking? Um, he was walking, what is, what is this way? North. North. North on 4th Street. Towards the Cimarron apartment. Towards the cemetery. Towards, towards the cemetery. Going towards the cemetery. Towards the cemetery? Yeah, uh huh. How old does he look? What, 30s? Between 20 and 30. Between 20 and 30, maybe. Goatee. He had a goatee and he was, he was, it looked like he was talking to himself. Did he look intoxicated or? No, he was walking fine. He was walking on the sidewalk and, I mean, he was walking fine. He didn't look like he was intoxicated or anything. It looked like it. He was talking to himself, so I'm sure he did. Just explain to him, hey, look, I'm out doing my second minute ride. When There's nothing I, with it. When I put it, it down, take... that's where it becomes Hold on. legally disarming. No, nobody's okay. legally disarming you. It's for officer safety purposes. If I voluntarily put Have you that ever heard down, of a Terry under... Frisk? You ever heard of a Terry Frisk? You know as it's an officer's right. I can come pat you down to make sure you don't have weapons. If we're called to, to, to come out here to you, we can make sure that you, we're secured the weapons until we're done with you. And if, you're, if there's nothing wrong, right? If there's nothing wrong at all, then we give you your gun back and you go about your business. Nobody's violated any of your rights. Nobody's disarming you. You, you nobody illegally detained negative. me. Nobody is, hold on. You're, nobody is freaking illegally detaining. You need to listen. Instead of well, sitting here with your hard go? head, am listen am to me. To go, then? Of course you're free to go. Listen to me. I'm trying to tell you something and explain to you so you don't get freaking in trouble somewhere else. I'm telling you. If if we're called by dispatch, we are legally here. No, I know. We are you, legally here. I know you guys have to show up, make it look good, because no. you guys can get what? in trouble. I understand Listen that. to me. Listen to me. For officer safety purposes, officer safety purposes. Do you know how many officers get shot from legally carrying firearms? No, I know that. That's what I'm saying. So if an officer tells you, hey, you know how many get shot from people illegally carrying look, firearms? But listen to me. Do you, I, I do. Okay. But listen to me. If an officer asks you, could you please put the gun down until we figure this out? Just do it. It's not. It's not. Nobody's illegally detaining you. Nobody's doing anything. Why We're should here I illegally. just do it? 
Because if you have nothing to hide and you have nothing to worry about, once we speak to you... Look, if I'm carrying a, a rifle, which I've done many a times, especially freaking walking on the side of the road because I had to make it to a highway, hunting, listen to me, and, and, uh, and I see an officer approach me, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the freaking gun down. Why? Because I'm a... Th even because I know better, one, because I'm a cop, and I know the first thing they're going to think is, I need this guy to secure his gun. It has nothing to do with disarming you. It has nothing to do with violating your Second Amendment right. Nothing. Oh, it's I an know it's secure. Listen to me. It doesn't matter. It's an officer safety per reason. It's an officer safety issue. It has nothing to do with disarming you. There's no, there's, when we come here legally, when we legally come here and we're, yeah, we're I'm called from you dispatch, legally come check what I'm saying out. is, is that you, all you have to do is just put it down. They're doing it for safety purposes only. Then when they oh, make sure that you're not doing anything wrong, they give you a gun back and you're on your way. There's nothing, there's nothing right. illegal about my, that. My biggest question is if you wanted to have this conversation, why didn't we do it in the office? Because we got called here. Yeah, and I was in your office before, and I told you I carry. I, and I understand that, and they know that, that we know that you carry. But we got a, we got a different call tonight. It has nothing to do with anything and but we're called tonight. Your other officers have been called to me before. But listen, but listen, right? He came and approached you, and he just asked you to put it down. There's nothing wrong with putting it down. It's not violating no, any of your rights. No, he asked me to put it down, and okay. I legally said, no, I didn't want to do that. Now, by all means, tackle me, do whatever you got to do. If you feel like I'm threatening you by disarming myself. Would you, are you listening to yourself? Nobody's tackling you. We're not even, all we're saying is, is that we're, we're trying to make you clear that just because we're Anthony PD, and you go somewhere else, and you do that, they're not, I mean, we know who you are. They know who you are. We've been dealing with you for a while. That's not the problem. The problem is this: you gotta, you gotta look at it from their their standpoint and from an officer standpoint. Whenever we come and approach somebody, and all they're doing is asking you what's going on, and you're in a residential neighborhood and with a gun because we got called. Oh yeah, I know. Okay, so. Well, I don't have my scanner with him, but I figured. But we got called to it, so that that means we have a legal right to be here. And if an officer feels that he needs to safety purposes, thank you. then. Put it down and then be on your way speak, after it's done. Speak in the safety in the middle of the road and none of you guys have your lights off. That's correct. Um, is that so people don't hit you inadvertently? I mean, no, because we're dealing with you. We don't know what you. We don't know what you're capable so of. You don't understand. You, are, you keep causing this, this, this trouble. You are taking us off. I'm the not streets. causing trouble. You are, sir. You no, somebody is making a non-emergent 911 call about a gentleman with a shotgun who okay. you've already introduced yourself in a fun, to. In a, in a residential area where there's several kids, there was a few kids out here, there was kids out here, yeah. as soon as they saw you walking up, they showed us, they saw us, I they walked in. And I care with my kids. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Look, nobody's, nobody's saying, it's perfectly legal for you to carry. But what I'm saying is, is when, we, when we're called to a, a call, we have to legally, we're legally obligated to come to that call. Okay? Now, if their officer is asking you to put the gun down, just put it down until it's until he figures that everything's legal and you're doing everything properly, then you can pick it up and go be on your way. That's it. Nobody's nobody's questioning you. If I anything. voluntarily lay the weapon down. If I don't, then it's on you guys and then you can illegally disarm me. You know, Brian... <sighs> You, you're you're causing more problems than you need to. I'm, 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 nobody's saying that they're illegally disarming. Nobody's going to illegally disarm you. It Good. is perfectly legal. Good. It is perfectly legal for me to come pat you down to make sure you don't have any weapons whenever we're called to you. That's perfectly legal. It's it, it's if called Terry versus Ohio. You better better read case law. Okay. No, I know, I know, I know. Lots so of case here, law. here here's Look. what's going to happen. Okay. One of us is going to get called here to you again. Not by random. Not 45 minutes. We're waiting. You're waiting for us to get here and see how long our our ETA is. I wasn't for you. Okay. Next time, if somebody asks you to put the gun down, the chief said just put it down until we done until we're done speaking to you. Once you're done, we're done speaking with you. Then we'll let you go on your way. Give me a state or local statute for that. For that legal it's for our safety. Give me a state or so local statute. Here's what happens. Here's what's gonna happen. One of these days, you're gonna refuse to put your gun down, and they're gonna charge you for obstruction because you're refusing to listen to our commands. Does that, does that make sense? If I'm not liquid detained, then I believe I'll just walk away. Thank it's you. a different story. Dude, just let him go. Let him go. Where does he live? On 1st Street.